here at the Micklefield Library <laughs> and I've got Love two it. amazing guests what? here today. I'm really excited. I've got Ashok and I've got Nurani, his brother, that his has brother. Um, autism. Yeah, yeah, it's right. uh, extreme, extreme autism basically. Extreme autism and um, basically I found out that you're a great trampolinist. Good Loves, trampoline. You like trampolining. Yeah. No yeah. trampoline. He's been there over for no, like 150 times right now. Uh-huh. No man. And, okay. Uh, I'm going to try love you die. Bye John. Love you die. Apple drop a bed. Can you explain what he's saying? What he's just saying right now, um, like I said uh, to you earlier, uh, only I could person no, understand exactly what he's talking about. Okay. He just said how Abishah is at the airport and he's, gonna ha he's having a lovely time. Who's Abishah? Lovely. Abishah is a family friend of ours who's okay. just gone to the uh, Umrah. Oh, okay. So he's, he's, coming, he's coming back, but he's okay. missing him. So hence why he's saying his name. Hence right. why he's saying airport. Okay. So everything, he, airport. Says, okay. Come everything on. he says, I could, I could easily, Come on. easily understand him. Okay. Come on. Box so, box so. Can, I, can I talk to Ashok? Is that okay? Wait, and... Awesome. Right, and, no, and uh, Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, so can you tell me a, a little bit no, about the condition? And yeah. um, was um, Nurani born with, yes. with autism? How old was he when you first started to notice? Uh, we didn't notice till very late, and uh, it's a shame we actually didn't realize till a very late age because back then uh, he's 29 now. 29? And, um, he's very young. 11. And okay. 11 money, Muslim, How are you? 29 years old. I like a slip man. Stop me when it's like a tap me. Okay, can, can I just let Ashok explain to me and then I'll talk to you? The less you talk to you, the more you can talk. Okay. Up Thank you. Car, Thank um, you. You're very the, comfy. <laughs> and what happened was that obviously we didn't realize at a very late age. And it's very unfortunate we didn't realize. Um, we, just, we just thought he's just going to start talking soon because he just say random words. But he just screamed a lot, so unfortunately. That's a, he went to a normal school. And Eleven. even when he was in normal school, his behavior was a lot different. Yeah. Uh, but they still kept him on so normal sorry, schools, I but then they actually it. put him into a different type of school, uh, which is obviously for, you know, the mentally uh, impaired, unfortunately. Um, but yes. that's where it was. Uh, it was Verney Avenue unit back then. Mm. Okay. And um, they kept him on till a very late age, which was 15, 16. And then after that, we had to obviously get him into different type of care facilities or get into different type of schools. And uh, unfortunately for my mum and dad, I didn't really know what to do back then. I wasn't really... Um, I didn't really have much of a clue, and they forced us into putting him into a um, uh, a boarding school all the way in Bolton. Who forced you? The, the mm. social services. Really? Yeah. They put the us back to some to a corner. What year was this? This is when he was uh, about um, when he was eighteen or something. I've got all the paperwork and everything. Eighteen. Yeah, I've got all the, so the paperwork and everything at home as well. Only about eleven years ago. Yeah. We're talking. So, sorry, you're his brother. Yeah. How old are you? I'm thirty-six. You're thirty-six. Yeah. Goodness me, you both look so young. I thought you were in your twenties. You know, oh, I thought thanks. you were his younger brother. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, your parents basically are they very Uncle. old? Or uh, they're born now, fifty-two. So what would I make them now? Fifty-six. Right. So they're not old. That old. No, they're not old. Okay. So old why? What 65. you're saying that? Sixty-five, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Sorry. What are you saying? So you wanted to look after him in in the home. So no, no. Where was where was it? Then we he going to the boarding school, but he wasn't happy. He would cry. Sometimes he would be so sick from crying, and they kept him. Uh, we kept taking him there because we, we didn't think we had a choice. But yeah. eventually, we thought, no, enough is enough. We're taking him out of it. Love okay. him. And you Go saw ahead. that he's come back to being his old self once you brought him back home. The thing was, at home, he still think? wanted to do stuff. He wanted to go for, you know, like being in school. He wanted to go somewhere. And we was, once again, the social services backed us in the corner. We can't do nothing for you. Can't help you at all. And um, mm -hmm. push came to shove. We had to put him in. Uh, a daycare facility, uh, which we thought was safe for him, which we thought was okay for him. Um, uh, it was run by one of the local councillors in High Wycombe. Uh, his name's Arif. Um, he, yeah. it's, it's called Stepping Stones on West Wycombe Road. I took him out of it most, uh, a couple of years ago. No, I took him Stop out of it because I found out they called it people have, uh, other people that live there have social Love living him. conditions. Yeah. yeah. I love him. These people that have social living conditions are on heroin. Sorry? Yeah. So there's some people that actually live in that facility. What? Where he was going in from nine to three, they're actually on heroin, and one person oh would commit God. one person commit suicide. So I when I was in, when I was talking to one of the social workers about this, they tried to um, not talk about the subject, to try to avoid the subject. The guy's name was Ryan that killed himself. I've got it on a video saved on my YouTube channel. So you're saying to me they put an innocent young autistic man yeah. in 
with a group of people that are on drugs. Same building. That, to live in the same... Not, not living, but... In the there. day centre. Nine to three, yeah. Yeah. And, you, uh, you got, you're kidding uh, me. No, no. One day what happened was that... Uh, I didn't actually realise any of this. Because one day what happened was that um, he was very upset to go, you have to take him home. I went in there to pick him up and he was crying his eyes out. So I took him out and he said how he's been hit. Eleven. And he's been hit by one of the teachers. Mm -hmm. And... You know, hit by one of the teachers. Well, they're not teachers, they're the the carers. The yeah. yeah, they're carers. Um, and, you Where know, is this place? I mean, this is West still Road, West open? Road, High Wycombe. Yeah, West Wycombe Road, High Wycombe. Right. Uh, the councillor's name is Arif. He's a right. High Wycombe councillor. I mean, he's got a Arif, position. nobody like you. So did you go and see him to talk I did to try to go, you know, I went to him face for face. I even said to him one time, I only spoke to him ages ago, uh, two years prior, I said, do you know how I could get into caring? How I could become a carer? And he goes, no. No, that's his exact words. And Anybody I find out, and I find out, <laughs> and I find out, the person that's running the centre is his brother, and his sister-in-law is also a carer. So if he doesn't know how to run, a, uh, how I can get into caring, how has he got his own brother and his sister working for him? So is this a private thing? Or yeah, is of course. It run, it's but run privately. It's run, run by him. So uh, Yeah, but he does he own it, or is yeah, it owned by it. social services? He owns, he owns it. He owns it? Yeah. Do you want to name it so we know? Stepping Stones, High Wycombe. So it's called Stepping Stones, Yeah. and it's a place where your brother, who's autistic, it's a day centre, where they put people who are on drugs or coming off drugs or whatever. One commits they, suicide. One of them committed suicide. They put an innocent autistic man in there in the day centre and one he was, was and actually the attacked. Guys, the guy, no, no, one of the guys was on heroin. <clears throat> right. He wasn't attacked. But he was attacked not, by one of the no, day centre. No, he wasn't attacked. I thought you said the no, day centre. No, he was hit by one of the carers. The day, yeah. yeah he was yeah. attacked, he was hit by one of the carers. That's purple but, so far. And the worst thing okay. is, forget the fact that he was hit by one of the carers. This is stepping stones. <coughs> yeah. And this place is still open? Yeah. Okay, and so... I reported this and to And you reported services. this to... Uh, nothing's going to be done. Okay, so we'll have to look into that. So... Uh, you reported it to, what's the name of the person you reported it to? I reported it to our social services, Kate Whitworth-Jones. Okay. Um, Kate Whitworth-Jones wasn't uh, assisting us at, in any care facilities at all. She didn't uh, do, I know it sounds like I'm bad math her, I was trying my best to get him out of stepping stones and put him somewhere else. And um, it was just wasn't going nowhere. Okay, um, so did <coughs> you try to take this to the newspapers or to the media in any way? Yeah. To exp and what happened? Nothing. Nothing at all? They don't, they weren't interested in okay. giving me, so I was like, fine. Oh, okay. So basically, what we need to do is we need to try and get someone in this chair mm -hmm. to ask the questions that need to be asked. Of course. Don't well, we? Yeah. See, I never knew that this was going on yeah. in High Wycombe. Yeah. Because I'm not no, in no. touch with anyone who's disabled. And I, I didn't know that they could put a client group like your brother in with a client group, like, um, you know, people that are either recovering more, more from drugs likely, or whatever. Yeah, more than likely what they could do, they're going to deny it. And that's fine yeah. if they want to deny it. I've yeah. got video evidence to prove that they okay. can't deny it. Yeah. So yeah. if Arif When you say you've Kate, got well, Kate video Wolf, evidence... Yeah, Kate Wolfe of Jones, when she came to our house, and I literally put the camera in front of her. So yes. she knew I was recording the meeting. Okay. So she couldn't deny the fact that I was recording it. So the camera was literally out here in my hand. So, you know, I okay. questioned her about the fact how, you know, somebody's in our facility where... Uh, Narani was, uh, when Narani was, how somebody's in there, how he was on heroin, how he committed su commit suicide in that building. It's, um, it's, it's just unbelievable, Ashoka. As I say, I never knew these things were going on. So, how can we help you when you say that they denied it, okay, and you know, because they're going to cover themselves? Mm -hmm. How can we help you with moving on TV? What can we do to get this out to the public in a way? Where people can understand. So for other people, have got. Do you think um, they told? Because they've got they. They've got, they've got they've adults. Us, they've got two houses. They've, they've got, got one nice and lovely house which was Fort Nani was in, right. and then they had one shabby house which they put Nani in. So Sorry, got, say that again. They one, put the nice house. Who goes in the nice so house? So the nice house. I don't know who's in the nice house. They showed nice Do house. Do they live there themselves? Maybe? Yeah, some people stay there. Some okay. people live there. And right. how much money they receive on a continual basis? How we much were you paying them? We weren't paying them. The council pays. Them. Oh, the council pays them. Yeah. Okay, but so they put. Nurani in the horrible, in the not so nice space. Yeah, but right. we didn't know that. You didn't. And how did you find this out? Because we went to pick him up once. Right. And that's what happened. And nice then we luck saw And then we saw Hello, exactly what he was saying. Um, <laughs> it is Lauren. Nice, isn't it? Um, Lauren. Okay. So this is very serious. This yeah. is a very serious um, 
This is very serious. This should be going on in, in High Wycombe. Yeah, and this uh, shouldn't be going on anywhere, but this shouldn't be going on in our own hometown. Sure, of course. Right, okay. So let's talk let's talk a little bit to Narani, just to find out how you're doing today. How are you doing today? I just go to Jasan. Don't you just send the bus feet here? I chat to look, I can sit chicken. Ashik, the bus sweet on see. Strawberry. Strawberry sweet on Ashik. Chicken bag and chip salad. That I think it's just out of sea. That's that like that I understood. Chip salad. Okay, chicken bag and chip salad. That's yeah. like what so he's good for. Yeah, so to basically, eat. what he's doing today, yeah. he's going to go to town and we'll go grab a box of sweets. Okay. And afterwards, I'll no, grab no. Him, uh, him some chicken bag and chip salad. Okay. But the other thing is this now, we no, also uh, go to the mosque. Okay. <coughs> okay. Yes, that's I'm just, just going to listen to Ashok and see if I can do anything to help you. Because obviously he's not in Stepping Stones anymore. No. And I'm naming Stepping Stones now. I'm naming them because if you say this happened, that's I fun. totally believe you. Um, so, okay, so what else? And so tonight he's also going to go to the mosque as well. That's it. And uh, there's a class <laughs> that he attends. Uh, no, uh, uh, which is done by Imam Sultan. And uh, Imam okay. Sultan is uh, a great guy. That is in Tampere House. Chat to toe. You know, absolutely does a great class. Oh, sure. And Ryan sits Chicken in this class. Chip salad. And um, <laughs> Ryan loves to sit in this class. Mm -hmm. And Ryan loves to be a part of the mosque. Oh, sure. But unfortunately, we have love us. with the mosque as well at the same time as well. Okay. So, if, if we want to just go into that quickly, sure. is there anything to, is there any kind of stigma? Is it a stigma because of the autism, do you no, think? No, it's... Um, so there's nothing, it's not, there's not being stigmatised because of the disability? No, it's uh, a bit above. Uh, they don't right. want me. In, in uh, the committee, there's a, there's, there's what's going on in High Wycombe uh, mosques. Uh, what I'm talking about is Tanfield House. Uh, the, there's a one in Mickerfield. Uh, there's one in uh, Castlefield and <coughs> the main one in Jubilee. They're run by committees. No there are two main committees mm -hmm. that no want to have power of the mosques. And right now nice the power of the mosque juice. is run by one committee, uh, which personally don't like me, because I made a complaint about them a, couple of year, uh, a few years ago, okay. because they didn't allow a group of Muslims to stay in the yeah. mosque. Okay, so coming back, um, actually we'll take a break. We'll take a quick break, because we've got to put some adverts on. And then when we come back, Ashok is going to explain to me a little bit about what's Talk going on uh, with the mosque in High Wycombe. And the particular oh, is in Totteridge, yeah. you were talking about, where there may be something that we I can she, also yeah. talk about see here on this Welcome to Moving On TV, the new TV channel for us, the positive, inspirational TV channel. My name is Lauren Hope. I am the founder and CEO of Moving On TV. No one is ordinary. We're all special, unique, wonderful human beings. We're all celebrities with our own talents and strengths and dreams. Moving On TV is here for all of us. We have a book show if you wrote a book. We're looking for talent, for Moving On talent. We want to stream you. We don't want you to compete. Artists shouldn't have to compete. It's disrespectful. And we're going to produce a new musical. And you could be in it. And we're going to serialise it for everyone. We're not going to have the news. We're going to have the happy news. Positive, inspirational, happy stories which are actually the majority of the stories in the world that are happening all around us, except no one wants to give them to you. And of course, because we're run by solution-based people, life coaches, we want to give you the truth and to help you move on. So we want to know why these tragedies are happening all around us. Why are so many people being hit off their bicycles? What is the solution to all these problems in our world? How can we have a better world, a more peaceful world? We're looking for you. We're looking for all of you. Everyone has a unique story. We're looking for hosts, presenters, all age groups, particularly older people that are not being given any opportunities. Come and work on our media. Cameramen, editor, editors, anyone who wants to work with us. And of course, sponsors organic makeup and organic products that are helping the environment and the human race. Come on board Moving On TV, the new positive channel, the channel that gives you hope. You can contact me at Lauren with an E at movingontv.uk. Don't get depressed. 
Come on board moving on TV. See you soon. Bye. No, rien, rien. Oh, I love you too, Marcel. Mm, mm. Oh, bonjour, bonjour. <laughs> I want to wear my face to the audience as I would a laver. And that is why I refuse to wear the makeup and the products, not unless they are organic. Because they make me feel nude. <laughs> so, come on board, organic makeup companies, moving on TV.uk. Bonjour. No, no. Hello, my name is Marcin Oswald of Marcin Oswald Hypnotherapy. I specialize in smoking cessation, weight loss, phobia release, stress management, and hypnobirthing. I can do a free assessment via the phone, via Skype, or face-to-face -face at any time. So that's Martin Oswald of Martin Oswald Hypnotherapy. Looking forward to your call now. You can also find me on my Facebook page, which is Martin Oswald Hypnotherapy. We're back on the We're disability back. show, and I've got Ashok. Show. And Narani oh, sure. here today, <laughs> and Narani's got autism, and we just heard a really disturbing story oh um, about a day centre called Stepping Stones in High Wycombe, um, where Narani was actually placed in the same space as people who are on drugs, recovering, uh, on heroin, someone no, even committed suicide, and where he was actually attacked by a member of staff as well. Now... Moving on TV is all about solutions, Ashok, sure. and we're here to try and figure out what we can do. So I will contact um, Stepping Stones and ask them for comments and see if I can get them on. And, and let's see what they say. <laughs> sure. Let's see what they say, because um, as I say, I want to try and find out if too there's anything hot. we can do. We do need to highlight this That's because this can't go on. Mm -hmm. um, so, but now, um, before you mentioned something about the mosque. Yeah. Now, I'm interested in finding out what's going on here. Do you feel that there is a bit of discrimination because of Nirani? No, the thing is this, Nirani has been going to that mosque for over mm. 10 years or something. Um, by the way, he's, he's, uh, he's been on Hajj, the Muslim pilgrimage, which is a very difficult thing to do. And he's, right. al he's also been there. He's done Hajj, right? He's done, he's done Umrah, which he's done over, Hello, uh, over 10, 11 times. You have to explain to me I'm Jewish. So, um, <laughs> I'm That's really fine. sorry because uh, I don't so what, actually what, It's the Muslim understand. pilgrimage that you do, that only happens once a year, and mm -hmm. you have to do it once in a lifetime, and not many people get the opportunity to go, and he's done it. Where do you go? Um, oh, sorry, in Saudi Arabia, you where, go to where, where the Saudi? House of Allah is. Mecca. Oh, okay, Mecca, of yeah. course. So he's Very done good. that. You've he's been, been to Mecca. Mm -hmm. And he's done a great oh, no, no, no. And he's done it on so many occasions. Mm -hmm. And not many people get the uh, no, no. You know, chance to go there. Right. Now, he gets called to go there continuously, continuously, continuously. And it's so fortunate for him. And now what's happened now is because this this mosque committee that's in charge right now, no, no. because they no, personally no, 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 don't like you. me. They don't like you, so uh, you feel there's something not yeah. right going on. Because they personally don't like me, what happened yeah. is that uh, one of the people come up to me and said, no, he didn't come up to me, he went to the Imam Sahib and goes, tell our sheikh that he can't come to the mosque whilst the kids are present anymore. Hello, Hello, kids safety. Hang on a second. Nurani isn't allowed in the mosque while, while the children are present before. because of safety? Yeah. Even when he's with you? Even, uh, even when he's with me. He yeah. doesn't seem like, I mean, he's such a, he's not, there's it, no violence no, in him. Too hot. I don't feel any, so, so I mean, that's not right. No, he's a big teddy bear, oh, basically. Excuse me, yeah. that's not right. So excuse we need me. to bring on someone Wash from your the mosque first. and find out that's not okay. Uh, what happens I mean, that? You, you, you're really <sighs> calm. I mean, look at me. I don't even know you. Lava, nobody likes you and hitting. You are, nobody you're like likes a big you teddy bear. <laughs> Do you hear what he just like, said? He goes, nobody likes you hitting. Says I and tits are hit you. Yeah. So sorry, so I'm hitting. No, it, nobody it? likes violence. No, no, but what we're saying right now is the words is that... Um, Felix, what's wrong? Uh, Anj and um, the teacher 
I hit him, him or something along those lines. This was in the day centre. Yeah, this is the day Well, we're coming back to the mosque. Oh. And the but mosque, the mosque. they don't me. want him there when the children are there. No, the kitchen class And over. that's discrimination. But the reason why it's, they're saying this is it? that they're saying it's because of for the safety for the kids. Even though Nani went on a trip to Chessington with the kids. Yes. And one of the people in the committee wasn't pleased that me and him got to go on the coach for free. Right, okay. They're like, oh, so why, did they, yeah, why did they, uh, you know, why did they get to go on the coach? And it's like, uh, why should he be politics. so upset? Why should he be upset that he got on the coach? But like I said, um, it's because it's they don't like me. Like I said, the committee is run by committees. Uh, no, a mosque is run by committees, and right now there's a committee in charge which person doesn't like have, they have a grudge against me. So if they have a grudge against you, you feel it's been taken yeah. out on your own? And the reason why they, That's not and the reason why they don't like me is because I complained about them, about That's their actions true. in the past. Because you're not afraid to say the truth. Yeah, Perhaps and, well. I, and they, they avoided my topic, they didn't want to talk to me, I put it on Facebook, mm -hmm. and then they wanted to speak to me in person, and then they lied to me in person, I asked them for proof, they still didn't give me no proof. Okay. I asked well, them for proof again, cut, and I put it on okay. Facebook. So I and understand then, that you're really angry, but what I don't like is the fact that they're taking it out on Nurani. Yeah. And he's innocent. Sure. And, and you know, no one should do that. Mm. That's not okay. But so on top of that, mm. a disabled person, um, they should give a more responsibility to the mosque. Right. As Muslims, we should know. Mm -hmm. And this is not me just me saying this because he's my brother. Um, uh, they should understand the fact, uh, the oh, fact that uh, as a Muslim, so um, they should cater for more for their needs. Mm, than their own. Do, yeah. Why? Because of their disability. Because mm. uh, what we believe is that a person like him, uh, anybody with a disability, they are granted heaven so straight away because of their innocence. Okay. And uh, however they say no, he shouldn't be the most due to his, um, you know, he, safety for the kids. Uh, but the thing is, it's like I said. The, what did, sorry, what did the parents think? My, my mum and dad's very upset about no, it. Not your parents, the other parents. Nobody said people nothing. in the mosque. Oh, do they get on the Chicken and chips. Yeah. And salad, they like uh, him. Loads of people love Nani. No, man. Right. So, funny. is there no, no way man. they could say Jules. something to the people that some people spoke up? A lot of people spoke up about it. Right. You know what I mean? And Would they uh, come on to Moving uh, On TV uh, yeah. and talk about it? So we can try and maybe do something mm -hmm. there? I could ask. Yeah, I that see would be go. good. And mm. um, the thing is this, is that with these, uh, with these issues, there's four main people uh, that had an issue. Uh, the secretary of the mosque, which is Shafat. He had an issue because I'm the one that wrote the complaint. He's the one that lied to me. I've got the messages to prove but that he yeah, lied to me. Um, another person was uh, Mohib. I haven't got a clue what his problem is. He's right. in the committee. Uh, another person was Ghalib. Ghalib is the one that turned around and said, oh, why did I, no, me no, no, and Rani, get to go on the coach for free to Chessington? Okay, so it's, uh, yeah. Uh, and then there was Jealousy Aman, 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 Aman is the one that uh, literally got nose to nose with me in the mosque. Uh, it's not very Muslim. Saying that, uh, you know, mm. you can't come to the mosque while the kids are anymore. And I was like, why? why? Okay. Tell me what reason. Well, that, that's not, as I say, we've highlighted two really serious issues here. One is stepping stones sure. and one is the mosque in Totteridge. And we need to try and think about what can we do. Mm -hmm. So how do you think Moving On TV can help you with this, Sasha? Um, it's, I'm not really sure what can actually be done about these in the, uh, these individuals. I'm, I'm literally backed into a corner. I'm not really sure what to do. If I really knew what to do, I would have really dealt, dealt with it by now. Uh, okay. I'm just stuck in a rut at the moment. In the past, where I've not known how to look after and take care of anybody, and I put them into different facilities, I wasn't sure what to do. But now I'm getting better. Last nice book. So okay. My main concern is looking after. Now, can I just say something as well? You are taking on a lot of responsibility here. It's I know not, you love him, yeah. and he's your brother. But you're still. Do you have a Do you have a social life? Yeah, of course we do. You You manage to do other things no, as man. well. No, with him. With him all yeah. the time. Right. Okay. So no, it's not because. But do you have any support? Yeah, we have, uh, we have we have our support from you know from my mum and dad, the local right. government, and they're helping us out now. Okay. Because I've taken them out to get out of here. And I said enough is enough. Yeah. We're well, looking after him now. Mm. You guys have not done a good job. You've put him in bad facilities, so therefore he's with us. Yes. And I've had enough. Yes. And uh, they're like, oh, we'll see what we can do. And then push come to shove, and then I've literally now got him under. We've got him under our wing. So, Good. so you know he's safe, and you know you and can great take care is, of him. He goes shopping. Too hot. Mm. He goes to every other shop in Highwickham. He goes to Poundland. He goes to Morrison's. He goes to Tesco's. He goes to Decathlon store in Highwickham. He goes to the market. He goes. Um, Halifax. You do a lot of things. He goes Metro Bank. Too hot. He goes everywhere. Mm. And he also goes to the sports centre. Everybody loves him in the sports centre. I like his 
Uh, the one in hand across. Oh, okay. Okay. Welcome oh. back at Parks of Tupperwater and Cape Bellar. Whee! There you go. Well, <laughs> Nirani has welcome oh. back to the next bit. So you just saw yeah, the catch on so TV. Is what he better. just did, what he just did is what basically because like, you know, he, like he loves game shows at home. So okay. He has uh, Challenge TV. Um, no, that's... And he knows it's a one four five one seven zero. Okay. His memory is very good. Right. So Lovers. when it comes back from catchphrase, he goes, Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> so, you know. so there you Lovers. go. Yeah. You, you want to say welcome back again? Welcome back. Welcome back to part two of Top of the Shanka, Top of the Bottom. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Ashi, Thank you. Chicken so bag and chips. Durani, my new presenter, Lovers. my new, new co host of the Disability Lovers. Show. We're just here I'll to show to you the, um, the situation mm -hmm. that is not, you know, we're here to highlight some things that are not working in High Wycombe. Um, particularly in our area yeah. where people with disabilities are not being treated with that's respect so I'm not here to cause trouble mm -hmm. that's not why I set up the station I'm here to create peace <laughs> to bring people together sure. to look for solutions so what do you think we can do Asha, to make things a little bit we should easier? have more people like the ones that work in uh, Rush, the one, uh, the trampoline park. More of the people that Rush, work. Sorry, Rush is Rush the, the trampoline, trampoline park. park. I would come. No he trampoline loves, park. He loves, he loves going he loves to. He loves he's going been over 150 times. Okay. No trampoline. No trampoline. No park. No, 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 no. Uh, I should die. And the, for instance, uh, in, holiday, in Russia, yes. people work with by the name of Scott. Uh, he's an amazing That's guy. He does wrestling part time. He's absolutely great with Narani. He came to Scott. And he's from. I would come. Uh, he's just a he carer. He works or? there. He works there. Oh, and he works. And he does wrestling. He does wrestling part time. Okay. And he's he's oh. absolutely amazing with Nurani. Okay. He even sees Nurani in the gym. He even sees Nurani out and about. No time. gym. No gym. Not today. Chicka burger. Oh, chips all of that. Tell about the gym as well. Okay. Uh, you've got many other people that <laughs> work there in Rush. Carbon juice. Rush is an absolute wonderful place run by a lady called Sam that's opened it up. And if it wasn't for her, uh, and if it wasn't for Rush, that activity uh, in High Wycombe, if it wasn't here, it would be such a shame. What they've created there in such a big amount of space and I, I, I strongly suggest to everyone that's got autism to find, contact them okay. because they do a, a Sunday event for autism That people. sounds wonderful. Do you want to say into so, the camera exactly how people can get in touch with them? Basically by going to Rush yourself, it's right on the Halifax Road, it's right next to Lex, uh, where Lexmark used to be, right behind Judas Cavewood, it's called Rush, you can't miss it, big bold writings and on Sundays they have a Sunday last hour, from usually for autistic people. And At what uh, time? Uh, from, I think it's in the last hour, 6.30 to 7.30. Okay, do they need to contact someone or can they no, just, just walk in. You can just walk in. Okay. And the great thing is, right. um, the, um, the person that's got a disability, um, the um, autistic person, they get to go in at half price and the carer goes in for free. Oh, okay. So that's how beautiful we are for, towards them as well. Um, so, you know, you can go on for half an hour or even an hour, it's up to yourselves. Okay, and you do trampolining there? He's amazing at it. He Fantastic. loves jumping around. He so, so Carly, you have to come along yeah. and see you. Yeah, it'd be great. You'd have to come along. Basically, That's what, road, one, one activity is, what road is Rush on? Just so. Oh, uh, Coronation, Coronation, Coronation Rush, Road. Yeah. Coronation Road, I'm sure it is. Is that Cressix? Yeah, Cressix. Oh, so it's in Cressix. Okay, yes. so Rush is a really good place you can go to. It's really good to pass on to the public. Um, if you uh, is it particularly for people with disabilities that that hour or anybody? You can go any 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 time. Anyone the can day. go. Any any time go. during the day. Uh, the best thing is if you go if your kids are not in school at the moment, and or if your adult is not joining the school, um, and you go between the hours of ten to two o'clock, it's completely empty during Monday to Thursday. Go in during those times, and you, and they'll have a great time. That's fantastic. Love our, that's fantastic. So you've got Rush, and that's a really good activity. What? Well, and it's obviously you go with him, do you? Yeah. So you, you know, you can watch him. No, I jump in. You jump in. No, I have competitions. <laughs> well, and where else, Sasha? Uh, like I said, the sports centre. And the thing is this: what's what's happened at Rush is in the sports centre. He interacts with people. He talks to people. People call him the big friendly giant. Is what is the best way to describe it. He goes up to me, go, "Hi, what's your name?" And they tell yeah. him his name. He goes, "What's your name?" Tell him his name, he still goes, we'll go again. You What's your name? Hello, Lava. Yeah, when we go, go to again. the sports centre in Cressix, he likes a girl called Lucy there. Lava. Uh, he always keeps asking her what's her name. But Hello, he, Lucy. Yeah, he actually, there you go. He actually knows Lucy, nice cake. See, he actually remembers giving her a cake. Lucy, can't what, be back to what I'm party. Thinking, what I'm thinking of, um, no, you know, is um, to help with the situation in the mosque, for example. Wouldn't it be better to actually get... Um, Nurani together with the children and bring them all together and that. break down the barriers no, 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 and 
Perfect. or whatever needs to be done. Exactly. That's Have the they done that? We, before this committee had an issue, what happened was that we used to sit with the kids, because uh, we used to come and join prayer times, and Ryan used to say a prayer. For instance, mm -hmm. uh, Nani Kala, Rabbi Shari. Kala Bashari, Sadri, Azim Ali, Haruna, Adaspi, Azri, Bashuka, we ame, Kasbara, Kasima, Nasa, Kakasira, and Aka Kunta Bada Masira, Masha, good boy. Can you so, explain that to me? I can't explain I only explain <laughs> Salam Alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, hi. Salam alaikum means. Peace, be with you. I can't, I can't explain Pizza. it. I don't know why I apologize, but however, it's a very important thing. The Hebrew is Shalom Aleichem. Salam Aleichem. Excuse me. Hello, Richard. Hello, Tony, everybody so, like you. Okay, Richard. so what we did once. You used to do that. No, but it's, now it's they not. won't let him. They, well, I tend to stay away from that mosque. Because. You won't go there now. Too many bad vibes. I but do can go we in, go to another mosque? I do go to, the thing is this, we still go we still go to the mosque. Yeah. The mosque kids are there. And we did it once once again and Amman Allah went up to the Imam Sahib again and goes, We told him not to come in with Nani again. And I mean never said what is so, you know, is okay. we still do go. We still do yeah. go. But it's like, you know, why do you guys do this for? And I've even yeah. had even, uh, for, oh, sorry, for instance, the prayer he was just saying, once we were sitting with the kids, mm. all the little kids, and Rani said that prayer and the Imam Sahib turned on us. He Mama knows that prayer, and you guys don't. <laughs> and the so kids, and the the kids realised, right. wait a minute, he has a disability, and he, and knows, he knows it, he remembers it. So it gave them shame, and it gave, inspired them to do more. Sure, so this is the old imam. No, he's still there. The, the imam, uh, Sultan, he is an amazing imam. He's great with the kids. Okay. Uh, but he doesn't, uh, he's not part, I mean, he doesn't run the mosque. The mosque is, committee is the one that runs the mosque, if that makes sense. Okay. He's not the one that's in charge of what's going on there. So, you know, it's not him, him that overrules call. anything either. Right. So, I mean, would I'm you not... like to see Narani back in there? Without, or I would like to be done from that? I would like to be back in that mosque without any issues, if yeah. that makes any sense. Okay. It will be Do a nice sense? facility for us to keep going back and so forth. Now, because so when we're in town, we're going back home, and we go there. Um, you know, when we're on our way to town, we go there. But then there's also another mosque around the corner from where we live, and they're happy for us to go to see them as well. And you can go in there without any issues? Ashuk, yeah. But you want to, you like to go back to your original one. Yeah. So when did it change, Ashok? When did all this change? Oh, this, happened just, the, um, was there? this happened just recently. Um, cool. It's on my Facebook post as well, because I put it all over Facebook, mm. probably in uh, April uh, last year. April 2017. Yeah. When Suddenly this. they decided yeah. that he wasn't allowed in. Even though the person that Amman Allah that said it to me, he's not even been in the country as long as he's been going to the mosque. Okay, okay so That's someone came from another country and <laughs> changed the rules. No, no, no. He, I mean, he's been house? living in the country. I mean, he's, oh, okay. But what I'm saying is, he's not even been in the country that long. He's right. only been in the country for 10 years or so. Right. Um, and he's been going to the mosque more years than he's even been in the country. Everybody okay. like you. I'm, Turn it lights up. I'm having a little cheap date. Oh, mosque. But book. the yeah. truth is, he says to me that he can't come in the mosque. Right. I go, and I turned and said, he nice will, uh, my exact words to him towards the end of the conversation was, I go, he will be coming in tomorrow. Did you say to him that this is discriminatory That's and I think and I said, there are what? laws against this? I go, said what? I go, you need to say this. You cannot discriminate against Very nice scarf hat. I know what you're saying. Yeah. Um, I understand exactly what you're saying. But mm. the words that came out of my mouth was, why? Who are you to say this? He yeah. came back with a response, which I can't remember. Okay. But then I said to him, tomorrow he will be coming to the mosque. His, ex his words to me was, you bring up tomorrow, you see what happens. So he was quite aggressive. <laughs> I go, what do you mean I see what happens? Exactly. Because now, you know, now it's like, because I don't see him as my younger brother. Sometimes I see him as my little son or my big son. Yes, um, it's very so, important <laughs> to you. And you he deserves I mean? this. Why can I walk in? Or you can, I'm a Jew and I can walk into a mosque. Mm -hmm. No one can tell me not to walk into a mosque because I'm Jewish. And I have gone in and worked with kids. In wow, yeah. I you can, uh, that. you yeah. can walk in. Anyone can walk in. He has the same rights as everyone else. If they have a problem with it, if you're there with him, then at least he's got supervision. But then that should get but rid of the reason any behind this. Understand the reason behind this. It's not because they have a problem with him, they don't like me. So, so they're taking it out. So they're taking it out of me. That's not okay. So, you know, there's other, there's other videos you can see on YouTube. Really? had this one, one hey. person who's very disabled. He could barely walk. He could control, barely controlled himself. He's walking. I'm not trying to make fun of him. I think he had cancer, he's passed away, and he used to walk to the mosque five times a day. He used to walk home five times a day in a different town. And obviously, you know, he was accepted by the community, obviously, because there was, he was inspiring to the community, because mm. he was fully disabled, but he was making this effort to go to back and forth to the mosque. Mm. 
Okay. Um, you know, know that. God forbid if he was in our town, no, uh, would they fine. say to him, can't. you know, he can't come to the mosque because of his disability? I've never heard of this before. As I say, this is a new thing to me. Everything you're telling me today is shocking, actually. Mm -hmm. It's shocking. We live in an interfaith society. We live in a multicultural society. We live in a society where you cannot be discriminated against because of these things or because, as you say, he's getting the flack. What we're, we're doing here is we're discussing some issues that are affecting Ashok Hello, friends, Ashok. and Rani and their family um, Love, ah. with the mosque in particular where Nurani isn't allowed to go in anymore and we feel that he, he's taking the flack yeah. because of Ashok um, you know, not getting on no, as well no. as possible with no, some no, of the people in there, which is not okay. So we're looking to you, the public. Here. We live, as I say, we live in a multicultural, interfaith Where's society. I'm a, I'm a Jew. I'm a Jew and I hey, walked into here. a Thumbs mosque, up. as Keep you up. know, and I taught the children a song in Hebrew, you know, and it just doesn't make any sense, any of this. No one could say to me, you can't come in, because <laughs> then enough. it would be against the, you know, Discrimination Act. You cannot deny a person, particularly if it's a religion, you cannot deny them access to the mosque. So you, you're saying that he's not allowed at all, or only when, no, all all when the kids' classes are going on? Only when the children's classes yeah. are going on, he's not allowed. Now, there. and during the winter times, um, that could be uh, like basically from the third prayer, fourth prayer, fifth prayer, and uh, you know, third, fourth, or fifth prayer. And, and yeah, and so and, when does he go in? And so, if you can't come in during the third, fourth, or fifth prayer, when can he come in? I mean. So they're making it impossible, basically, the <laughs> situation. So I'm asking you, the public, what can we do? As I say, moving on TV here is to highlight the situation and to look for a solution. Who can we bring on? Or have you got any suggestions? Would you like to come on and talk about the situation? Would you like to say what you feel about Ashok and support him and Nurani? The more people that can come on here and say how well they get on with Nurani. I mean, I've been sitting with him here from the minute he walked in. I, I feel completely safe, completely comfortable. Too hot. He's very, very calm, very relaxed. Calm down. You know, there's, there's nothing to worry about here. So, oh, what is going there, on friend. here? Why can't a Muslim man who's got autism go into the mosque when children are there, when he works perfectly well with kids, and even if he wasn't on his own, he's, he would be with his brother? This does not make any sense, and we need to see what we can do about it. So, well, what, the, what else? On the country Asha? side, even if a disabled person like Nurani with autism does go to the mosque, they should cater for him. Mm -hmm. End of story. Uh, it's not the fact that if I'm not there, okay? Now, if I'm not there and he's turned up by himself, the Muslim community should say, we have to take responsibility. Simple mm -hmm. as. Another adult has to be looking after him, somebody else should be there. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because it could be a situation where, once it's actually happened in the past, where I was out at work, I was in a high wickham, mm -hmm. my dad had gone out to work, my mum had gone somewhere, and he was left with my other brother. My other brother just went for a nap. He, because he was so excited, it was Friday Juma, got dressed like he was. Ashid Juma Mashid. Got washed, I mean, got washed, got dressed, jumped out the window. He jumped out the yeah. window oh and started marching god. his way. Oh my god! I swear to god, because an, an auntie actually saw him. Oh he, was, he was marching his way. He all jumped the way out the, the window. Oh. He went all the way oh, to the mosque. Like not this. on the, on the top floor. No, no, no yeah. downstairs. Oh, okay. The, um, the kitchen window. He's lucky. Yeah, the kitchen window, because he knew he could get out. And he was walking He's all Spider Man. Over, he's walking Spider -Man. all the way to the mosque yeah. like this. He was that excited. Because he yeah, knew it was Friday. Because he wanted to go. Mm. Right. Oh, mm. and, and they. Huh. He can't do that. No, no, but the thing was this they weren't happy that he could do himself. Right. And Which is fine. But they know him. But that's not the point. If you understand the fact. You know, <laughs> that you know, this person has got a disability, this person is the way he is, cater for his needs. Yeah. And that's what they do. They're doing it for another card, and then they're doing it for another adult. They're well, doing it for they somebody else. It for him. They're doing it for him, they cater for somebody else because mm -hmm. they get along with him. Right. Like, because they're not like me, that's how they And it's just. Can, sorry, can I just ask you something? Do they well, not have policies, like everybody has to have policies that they abide by? Do they get any grants? Right now what's going on... Ga grants or right now, grants? Right now what's going on is that every two years we're meant to have these so-called votes.
to vote in a new committee, and what they're doing is they're... they're, they're <laughs> when is that? They're, they're, ah, this is the funny thing. It's too they're early. using their, their power mm. to basically uh, oh. avoid the votes from happening. Mm. They're making sense to everybody, you have to pay £25 to vote. <laughs> And the votes have been pushed back, the voting system, and it's meant to happen uh, this year. It's already, the time deadline has already gone. Um, oh, they're, right. they're manipulating sister, right. the power, and it's like everyone's questioning why are they manipulating the power? Mm. What are they gaining out okay. of this? Um, you know, but so, do they more. get any government grants? Do you know? No, no, no. The well, what happens any, is, is what happens is that the money is collected oh, by the they community. Need to abide by policies. The money is commu no, the money is collected by the community. The community right. gives money every single week, so okay. you know everybody gives a pound here and there on a Friday. Right? No, well, it doesn't sound like much, but when no, everyone well, gets well, together, well. it makes a massive difference. It's a big community. For instance, mm. last week I think they generated over four thousand pounds. Right. Yeah. Bomb um, shoe. So, that you know, sucks. They generate a lot of money. Hello, um, you know, and it's like, um, lower cost where is this money going? What's happening with this money? They get to decide how to do it. They get to decide what they're doing with it and everything. You know, and yeah, it's good to spend it and make the buildings look nice and pretty. But mm. when the internal system's all messed up, mm. nothing's all good. What's the point? Okay. So, do you have a big support? Would you say at the mosque itself? Do a lot of people support you and Narani? The funny thing was, what happened was the next day, um, uh, because um, the most people that actually have an issue with me is they work for taxis. Okay. And I was sat outside my car, and this taxi driver came to the side of me, mm -hmm. and he started pointing at me, and I was like, "Oh God, okay, looks like I'm gonna have another confrontation." <laughs> what thought, people were threatening. No, 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 I thought I'm gonna have another confrontation. I was yeah. like, "Okay." I was on my phone. I was trying to avoid him, and he just he just stayed in his car, and I was like, "Okay, I put my phone down." I thought, "Okay, mm -hmm. let's go." He goes. But that means, son, I totally support what you did. What you did is totally fine. You didn't do nothing wrong. Yeah. You know, well, we're totally behind you 100%. Good. Right? Good. Um, so it was just one of those things. Um, so you know that they're there on are your people side. out there that are, are on our side. There are, are, are people that understand the fact that this shouldn't be happening. But it's just abuse of power. Mm -hmm. This committee okay. is basically doing right now. So can I say that maybe we could follow this up with bringing on the imam? Or maybe someone from the mosque who so can ask the right questions sure, I could find when they're actually one. sitting here? Sure, I could find out some Would people for you. Would that be okay? Maybe yeah. we could follow I'll, it up that I'll way. I'll see who will be interested in coming along. Okay. But cool. this, this, okay. Is this is just one of the issues. This is just... This is... The cloth cherry on top of the, the cream. Okay. This is nothing compared to all the other issues that they're doing right now. Okay, well at the moment we're just interested of in course. Narani and dealing with the <laughs> dealing with one thing at a time. So basically this well, is the disability show well, so and we've got Narani here who is a wonderful trampolinist and a really, really lovely well, man. He loves swimming by the way. He, actually, he loves swimming. He actually goes he loves in the Can I ask you about the show? <laughs> He, he's been course. hosting the show with me, as you saw. <laughs> back, back, part of one operation. thing Catch he me. cannot do no, at uh. the moment is go back into the mosque mm. and pray mm. while the kids are present. While the kids are present, um, mm. because of some oh. kind of um, disagreement with his brother, it's kind of his huh. brother feels. Ashuk feels that it's taking it out on Nurani. Mm. So what we're going to do as a follow-up is we're going to bring on someone from the mosque. Mm with our shock and we're going to get them to talk uh -huh. and find out how we can sort the situation well, out yeah. well, to help um, Nurani no, uh, because he is an innocent well, well, bystander who actually jumped out the window because well, he's so, so well, keen to get well, there. He jumped out the window, he knows I'm talking about it. Like a like spider like. man. <laughs> spider man. He got man. himself all ready, got down to well. the mosque and what happened? They just didn't let him in. No, they they let him in. This is ages ago. This is, this very, is, this is ago. a very long time yeah. ago. Yeah. And this but he can't do that yeah. any, anymore. No, yeah, because I'm with him 24-7. Yeah. I'm always constantly with him. So it's just one of those things. But even if I'm not with him, uh, even if, you know, it's just one of those things, it shouldn't be happening. But I didn't know if other kids are not being, if other people are not being discriminated, but he is because of their disliking right. to me. It's a bit of a... Of course. Yeah. Well, this is, this is your show. This what is you your do? show. I Narani created show. particularly for show. Narani. This is the disability <laughs> show. Without the you know, taking away stigma. Oh. I was in a wheelchair oh. last year. I should Before my hats. I had a serious accident. Mm. And, no, no. I, and so I didn't know if I was mm. gonna walk again. Mm. So I thought it's oh. really important for no, everyone I. to have their own show. And um, that's one of the reasons I created this because everyone has a right to not be discriminated and to be able to showcase what they're good at as well. So um, what we're going to do, as I say, we're going to do our best to create a little solution or some kind of solution. 
So um, if anybody oh. else has been discriminated in any way because of disability, whatever it is, if anyone wants to come on and talk about the, the, the disability, um, highlight it, um, talk about anything that means anything to you, then this is where you need to be on this show. Please email me. It's Lauren, L-A-U-R-E-N-E, at movingontv.uk, and we'll get you on the show. We're here to help you and to highlight solutions. So, just to end uh, in a few minutes, just very quickly, um, thank you so much for coming thank on our so show. Thank you so much. And thank you for coming Thank you very much, Laura, today. Would you like to say goodbye to everyone? Would you like to say goodbye? Goodbye, see you soon. Goodbye, see you soon, see Laura, soon. goodbye. <laughs> Namaste. Shalom. Assalamu alaikum. Shalom. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Just Thank one you. bit of advice, whoever has got any conditions or well, anybody that they're living with well, living conditions well, like this and they need support, no, it would be a good idea for you to come here because well, it does feel like well, you are going to be well, creating something better for yourself. That's you. what I could say. Thank you. That's a really well, good testimonial. Well, Thank you. <laughs> Take care now and uh, look forward well, to seeing you again in the second yeah. part. Well, we can well, create a little bit.